so begins another day. Possibly the last day of digging for the week. I've got much, much computer and uh, paperwork to do at home, so I probably won't be able to go out anymore this week, but I'm driving to Cuba, New York, 57 miles away at the moment, <laughs> and to the next town over, which is Olean. There appears to be a uh, thrift store in Olean, as well as an antique store in Olean, but the main focus today is Cuba Antiques. It's my first time there. Uh, it's uh, an area that I played in a lot in my early 20s and really haven't been to since. I played a few shows there in my mid-20s, mid to late 20s, um, but uh, I don't really remember the town so much. As a matter of fact, uh, the shows that I did back then used to be 11 o'clock 11 starts, 11 to 3, so usually <laughs> you're pulling the town around 9.30 or so, but... Uh, this would be one of my first times seeing the town in the daylight, I guess is what I should have said. I always find the long way around saying what's important. Up here on your left is now called Fitzy's Bar and Grill. And that would be the location of the Chafee Hotel. The first bar to ever serve me underage. <laughs> beautiful ride. I mean, just trees and colors the whole way here. Uh, a little bit of industry. I saw one asphalt place, but hey, blame it on my ass. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm gonna call it a day. Three antique shops. Everybody I met was probably some of the nicest people I've met in a long time. Truthfully, uh, I found some great records. Uh, I've got to go home and go through them, and listen to them. Maybe we'll do a short video, like a rap video, a little bit later on. I've got uh, I've got a long ride ahead of me. Food at the Copper Keg was really good. I stopped and uh, sat at the counter because I like to do that. There's something about uh, something about that to me. I sat at the counter and. Ordered myself a burger and a, and a drink, and I'm really excited about uh, seeing what I got. So. In this room of beauty, light beyond the shadow of a doubt. So begins the rap video. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and if I look it, I apologize. Uh, and if I sound it, it's because I've been singing the whole way home. I've been enjoying myself. The windshield therapy is absolutely paramount. But let's just dive right into what I grabbed. At one of the antique stores down in Cuba, in the village of Cuba, I found some cool stuff, man. Like, dig this. Some crazy French, like, late, maybe late 60s psychedelic stuff. I think. I just wanted to buy it. It looked cool. It was a cool looking label. And we'll look it up and see what I found. <laughs> a former gas station that had been converted to an antique shop recently, actually within just a few weeks. Um, I'm happy to report they're doing well in spite of all that's going on in the world. Uh, but they had some uh, 78s in there that were for sale. And they, oh, here comes the puppy. Say hi to the puppy. They had some 78s that were in there for sale and I had to inquire about them as I was looking through them. They said those belong to the mayor. So thank you to the mayor of Cuba. I bought some of your 78s and I look forward to enjoying them. 
Uh, here's one by Les Paul, another one with Les Paul. This one actually has Mary Ford on it as well. And then this Louis Jordan record uh, with Caledonia on it, which I gotta find out which version of Caledonia that is. But either way, I grabbed it, it was a cool find. As far as Cuba antiques go, there's way too much to highlight. When I say way too much, these were all the 45s that I bought from there. Mostly from the 50s and mostly country, uh, which is cool. Hey man, someone is gonna dig it. Maybe it'll be you, maybe it'll be me. And then on my way home, I uh, kind of caught, it caught my eye was Holland Antiques. Uh, and I'm from the next town over, so I was familiar with it. And I went in to meet Sean, the owner and grab some 45s from him too. Thanks for tuning in. What am I gonna do now? Make all these videos. I've got three videos to make. And then a friend of mine contacted me last night from out of the blue and told me he'd like for me to have his collection of 45s. He's a tremendous blues guitar player here in town. So those are gonna probably stay with me. So stick around, we're gonna do all that stuff too. Like and subscribe, please. I just got back from seeing an old friend of mine who gave me his collection of 45s from back in the day. Snake skin box aside. Dig the first three records in this box. Etta Jones, I got a feeling. Louis Jordan, again. Whiskey do your stuff. And another Louis Jordan. Morning light shines through my window. Morning light. Can't wait to. It's gonna be a great week, guys. Go down, go down.